Okay, well, welcome. Welcome, welcome to this wonderful, powerful new moon coming up in Taurus tomorrow. Um, I think it's at two, two something in the afternoon, Eastern time. So there's a couple more people. Um, very powerful moon. So we're in the evening of the new moon in the eve and um the last night of the dark moon as you know is the most powerful so here we are and um a couple of things about the taurus new moon the taurus new moon that we're moving into is um really all about embodiment it's about the physical plane it's about um, the earth, of course, sensuality, the senses, enjoyment, pleasure. Um, however, it's got a really interesting, um, deeper, kind of a little bit more of a deeper meaning. Um, it's been conveyed very much as just a physical sign that has to do with also money and possessions and things like that but really at the core the Taurus sign is all about really enjoying the physicality um, through of course the senses and the sensuality but really as as an embodied aspect of the spiritual so it's really where we can connect um, to the spiritual realm but through the physical, through the body, through our senses, through, um, through our pleasure, the ways that we enjoy things. And um, the Buddha was actually born and died in the month of May. So it was attributed to the sign of Taurus. So it's also a sign of enlightenment. And of course, when we can connect to the spiritual realm through our body, you know, not just you know, kind of going out and connecting with that realm, but going in as also, as we call it, through the feminine, right? Because the feminine is all about the sacredness in our body and connecting through the physical realm. Um, when we can do that, it's really awakening to those higher levels. So it's really an aspect of enlightenment. Um, so it's very, very powerful. Uh, it's, you know, we have a lot of changes now happening in that sign of Taurus because Uranus is in there and it's going to be in there for a long time, which is the planet of awakening and it's the planet of really deep, great generational shifts. So there's a whole shift happening that we could see it as a shift with the earth and the shift of how we have, you know, restoring the, the sacredness and the spirituality in the physical and that includes, of course, ourselves. And so we can really look at this also as um, related to the awakening and the restoration and the reclaiming of the feminine within us and in the world. So it's a very powerful sign. I love the sign of Taurus. <laughs> and um, even though I didn't always get it or understand it or even love it because the physical realm is not always easy. It's very challenging for us. Um, sometimes it's easier. Most spiritual traditions have really um, entrained us to just be kind of like in the spirit as rather than in the body and has created that type of separation. But in reality, there is no separation. The, the spirit is, and it's in the body that you can feel your spirit, at least in this realm. Um, so as we move towards this new moon tomorrow, we can, um, you know, really contemplate tonight or what's been coming up, you know, the dark moon's always an opportunity to release and to surrender and to let go and to also feel in that letting go as we unite with that cosmic womb, with the essence, with the divine. Um, as we reunite with that, that level of bliss and pleasure and ecstatic 
bliss. It's not, uh, there's nothing else to say. That's really, ultimately, that is the, the spiritual realm. And um, we can contemplate, you know, how we feel about these things that Taurus represent. You know, how do we feel about our body? How do we feel about the physical realm? You know, how do we feel about our own pleasure? You know, is there more shame there for women? You know, this is a very big theme that is really um, at the root of a lot of, of issues in our body and unworthiness and things like that. So we can contemplate, we can allow these things to arise naturally, or we can just, you know, bring in that prayer to allow us to clear whatever's in the way of us experiencing our light, the love, the spiritual realm, dimension within our physical body for us to allow us to really embody spirituality, embody the love, embody the light and clear, you know, whatever, whatever judgments, whatever pain we might still be holding, you know, against ourselves consciously or unconsciously against um, our bodies and um or even the physical realm you know there's always um the challenges that are attributed and there's a lot of pain that we see and sometimes you know it's 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 um can be can be a little challenging so how do we bring and feel love the divine in those challenges so that's just kind of a little a little um, synopsis of what what's opening, what the potential is. So we'll dive in and um, we'll see what what arises for each one of us. You know, that's always the journey. All right, so let's just take a deep breath. And you can close your eyes if you'd like. And I'm going to be playing some drums. You can, if you brought your drum, I think some of you brought your drum. <laughs> you can play it. If not, you can listen or you could do both. Or you could probably listen at the beginning. We're going to open up our log gong and, and just kind of come into prayer and work with our own energy. And then we'll bring in some of the sound healing. Yeah, so just allow yourself to receive. Taurus is also about receiving. So the sign of Taurus is ruled by Venus. So a lot of the love and, you know, the things we love, the things we value, but it wants us to bring that focus into valuing the physicality and seeing the sacredness of the physical. Seeing it's like the physical is the expression of the divine. So let's just take a deep breath. Yeah. Let's we'll start with our little bell here. Let's take a deep breath, closing our eyes. Feeling your hips, feeling your pelvic floor or your feet on the ground. Ah. And opening up the center of your foot, there's a point that connects you. It's a kidney one point all the way down to the earth. You can feel that point also opening, and you can feel your root chakra opening and sinking into the earth, into your chair. And take another deep breath. body move and just so just 
fall into whatever you're sitting on. And so you're connecting with the earth, feeling the gravity on your body. And then simultaneously opening up the top of your head, the do 20 point, and just feeling all of the light coming in through the top of your head, all of the light frequencies, cosmic, all of those divine lights. Just taking a deep breath. Beautiful. Okay. And then we're going to bring our essential oils to our hands and let's just open up our all of the meridians that that we have in our hands so that as we're moving through the world we can um, really be open to that light and that love by activating our own light. So let's do the invocation to the mother as we do that or before we do that. I bow my head, heart, and womb to you. For you are the creatrix and the creation. From your womb, the 10,000 things are born. I ask you, dear mother, to bring me close to you, awaken me, and keep me in your flow of divine grace. Hold me in your ecstatic presence where all veils are dissolved, leaving only your whispering truth as my teacher. Let me drink from your cup of mercy and merge with you into the annihilation of my being forever and ever, dear Mother. I'll just take another couple deep breaths there, letting, letting that really come in, that frequency of that prayer. And then with our fingertips, we're going to take the right hand and each pad of the fingertips, we're going to, we're going to kind of rub them seven times. And as you do that, I'll be calling out what it is and I'll let you count on your own. So the pinky this is the kidney and bladder meridian, the water element. And the ring finger is the hun which is the wood element of liver and gallbladder, springtime. And then we have fire in the middle finger. And that's heart and small intestine, also the triple burner. And then we have the um, index finger. And that is our lung and large intestine, which is the metal, which is the air element and the earth element and our thumb. So then, and that's stomach and spleen, and that's the earth element. Okay, seven times on the other side. Pinky is the water, and then we have the wood, the fire, the air, which is metal, and the earth. Now bring our hands together, right and left hemisphere of the brain as well as connected. We're going to do 49 of these. And then when you're done, we're going to activate our three wombs. We're going to bring our hands crossing the pinker over our, pinky over our third eye. Bring your hands over your eyes. 
fingers on the temple. Take a deep breath here. And then you're all gonna sound the highest note that you're comfortable with, just organically. We're gonna do the E, the vowel E, three times organically. So do it with me. E. And you can go higher, you can go lower, whatever is comfortable. Do it again. E. Letting your head womb activate the pineal, the pituitary gland, mm, the hypothalamus, letting the neural pathways start to open, and then we're going to come into our heart. We're coming to the heart, breathing into the heart, letting your heart soften, front of front of your heart, back of your heart. Feeling the throat and the solar plexus as well. This is your, your heart womb. And we're going to do the ah sound, whatever middle tone, preferably, three times. surrendering. That's it. Coming a little bit deeper into your body now. to really coming to meet yourself, meet all of you, everything that's been moving emotionally, your cells, your organs, your blood, yeah, and then coming all the way down into your sacral womb. Your sacral womb is um, right below your belly button, so it's that whole pelvic cavity, and then also the sacrum behind. Bring your hands there. And now we're going to do the lowest tone that you feel comfortable that organically comes through you. So this is not about, you know, any agenda. It's really about just letting your body organically just sound. There we go. Sometimes as you do that, you just kind of feel like your whole body's melting into it. It's like letting your body relax. Yeah. Just li listening deeply. Oh. senses in this part of your body 
cells. Yeah. Beautiful. Hmm. So now that you're a little bit more in touch with your body, just noticing how your body feels, noticing how your back feels. So just kind of greeting, greeting yourself physically. Really making contact with all these different parts of you that all have consciousness, right? They all have consciousness, so your organs have consciousness. And just breathing in, if as you breathe into your lungs, you can feel your lungs, you can feel your heart. Maybe you can feel your womb, maybe you can feel your liver. And just, just bringing to your awareness that your organs are here and they're working really hard for you at all times and and they're being sustained by the divine you're not you're not working your organs they're being you're being sustained completely and you're being breathed completely and you can start to lean into that you can start to depend on that a little bit more letting go of your own idea of of having to do and figure out and just kind of leaning into source starting to lean more into the womb and feeling your cells feeling your bones feeling your blood your lymph fluids and you may have no idea what that feels like and that's okay we're just making room to invite invite your consciousness to be present with these realities within you yeah and just the fact that all of these aspects of your physical form have consciousness and they're all communicating and the glands are communicating and the hormones are communicating and all of the neural pathways are firing and communicating and recalibrating. And our intention is really, really key here. So we want to say a blessing to all of our body parts, I should say, or our body subtle bodies all of these different dimensions within us and we just want to greet them and be present and and move into gratitude really really being present and being really grateful that our body you know is maintaining us here in this physical realm Yeah, and the body's working really, really hard every second. Yeah, and so we really want to not just be in this moment of gratitude, but also asking the divine to allow us even more awareness and more gratitude and more love for our body, that we can honor the sacredness in our body, that we can allow our bodies to heal, that we can listen deeply to what our bodies are needing, what our physical bodies are needing, and, and give it that, whether it's more time, whether it's more time spending in better nutrition or different nutrition, or more time spending de-stressing and just being more time and pleasure and feeling good rather than stressing and worrying and feeling bad. Hmm. Maybe it's kinder words to ourselves. Maybe it's less judgment. So whatever it is, we're asking the divine to show us 
and to allow us to break the patterns that keep us in suffering, to break the patterns that, that keep us in pain and to allow us to move into greater greater feel good, greater pleasure, greater joy, greater joy. Clear the shame of even being in joy and enjoying things. Clear the shame that makes us be and do and work and, and constantly accommodating to the outer, to others, to the world, to the pace that, that society or culture has set and keeps us from listening deeply and prioritizing our needs, our desires even. So take a couple of, of um, maybe another minute and just allowing your own personal prayer for this dark moon, what you'd like to release, but also what you'd like to receive because we're in that transition time. So as we release, we're receiving. As we release, we're making room to receive. And your awareness, your intention is really key, is really important. It's how, it's kind of, it leads the way, you know, it leads the way that your body organizes, your cells organize. Our intention is being heard. a couple of minutes and whatever you've experienced this last month allow yourself to be present with any places of pain grief sadness fear any challenges that you want to also bring into and bring it to the table tonight and offer it offer it to the divine, offer it to the great mother, saying, I I want to give you this and I want and I need help with this. And I surrender it. Show me the way and allow me to open to the gifts, to the true love that I know is there, but that I don't always feel. The true support the true beauty, right? Taurus is also about beauty. And wherever we might not be feeling beautiful because we're still consciously or unconsciously um, judging ourselves against some outer standard that's been imposed upon us. So allowing ourselves to Feel the beauty that is inherent within us. Mm. And offering up whatever, whatever your body is, wherever it is in pain, wherever your body is in pain, wherever your emotional body is in pain, offering that up. And we're going to start with a little bit of the bowl, the crystal bowl, just breathing in.
phrase now. We're going to do the phrase Astak for La Ladin. And as we're doing this phrase, letting the vibration of those words move through you, dissolving, dissolving everything. And you're just letting go and just letting yourself feel the bliss of your essence. This is not the time to manage or to figure out how. The how will come later as we offer as we offer to the divine, we allow the transmutation, the transformation to take place and we dissolve, we allow these things to dissolve, the patterns, the thoughts, the judgments, etc. And then the epiphanies come later, they might come at the end, they might come in your dreams tonight, tomorrow, they come in your meditation. So I'm going to do the Astak Furla. You can't be up there. <laughs> she really wants to be up here today. Astak Furla Ladim. Astak Furla Ladim. Astak Furla Ladim. Astak Furla Ladim. A stock for a la la 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 deen. 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 A stock for a la la 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 Stock for a la la
phrase that was coming is, was, and is Wakil, which Wakil is the, it's a deep trust. It's trusting that the divine has never really left us. It's trusting that, um, that we are the expression of the divine. It's trusting that we are being supported. It's trusting that we have everything we need. It's trusting that we are the love. It's the deep, deep trust. And that is Wakil. Wakil. So I'd like to do a little bit of Wakil to allow us to even open up further and to surrender further into this beautiful, beautiful gift that's awaiting us right here. Mm.
letting yourself feel a deep surrender, trusting that the divine love is really the core of your essence, the core of your being, is really your light and it's really love, it's really experienced as love and that you are that flame of love and that flame of love is also the divine the divine breathing through you is the divine's breath that comes through you and ignites all of you animates you inspires you, gives you strength supports you. Envisioning that light, that primordial light that we are at our essence. Envisioning that light expanding greater and greater from your heart center outward towards the sides of your physical body through your rib cage and then forward and back like a balloon expanding and then forward and behind you with each breath and really seeing just like a balloon expanding within you that light of the divine that love that fountain of love that is who you are expanding through each and every cell of your body through each and every cell, through each and every heartbeat, through each and every drop of water, of fluid, of blood, expanding through all of the organs, through your whole system and through all of your bones. See that light all the way in your bones. And right now, you are intending and becoming conscious of the fact that your DNA can be turned on to experience the love that you are, the light, the omnipresent love that is at your core. Experiencing that through your physicality, through your body, through your hands, you can feel it in your hands even as you open up your hands and just feel your hands, feel your fingertips, feel your feet, feel your toes and feel them as light, as light moving. You can maybe even feel the vibration of those frequencies of light turning on within you. And letting them go, trusting your body knows exactly what needs to be healed. And, and asking them, inviting them to go to wherever, whatever needs to be recalibrated in this moment to be healed in your body, in the physical body. In the physical body. Because there's always something that can vibrate at a higher frequency in the physical body. You may or may not know where the need is, but you can just ask, ask your body to receive it. You're directing, you're asking, you're inviting, you're allowing. And the body 
do is the rest, the intelligence in your body. And then breathing in the healing, breathing in the recalibration of the fluids, of the hormones, of the neurotransmitters, of all of the biochemicals in your body, of the blood, asking it to vibrate at the highest frequency. And if there's anything, anything that's needed to allow that to arise in your consciousness so that you can have the wisdom of what is needed, what is the next step in your healing process. And that's in the physical healing. And then in the emotional healing, we're also going to invite the light of healing to come through and allow us to feel the joy, the joy of being embodied light in this physical body, the joy. And whatever patterns, whatever thoughts, conscious or unconscious, whatever wounding might be blocking the ability to feel joy, whatever judgments, shame, grief, fear, sadness, hopelessness from all of past experiences, Letting them dissolve and trusting, replacing them with deep trust. Deep trust of knowing that all of your past has brought you to this moment right here. And asking to show you, asking to be shown what the gifts are. If there's any doubt in your mind of some of the challenges of the past, asking to see the gifts. And the next, perhaps when you dream tonight, to be shown the gifts so that you can allow yourself to trust even deeper into the love. Because sometimes the challenges are challenging and we don't always see the gifts. And sometimes that gets in the way of the surrender because we're guarded and we don't want to be hurt. Yeah, and so allowing the trust, the trust, and what are we trusting in? We're trusting in the divine and the omnipresent love of the divine, the divine as a nurturing mother that's holding her infant, and we are the infants in this case, holding, holding and nourishing and organizing synchronistic events so that we evolve to more and more love. But sometimes the fear comes in no, we can't feel the love or the joy. And sometimes we get stuck in the pain of separation. So we're asking for those blindfolds to come off or those non-truths to be dissolved so that we can swim and float in more love, more beauty, more joy. As this new moon comes in, it's very appropriate for that. Mm. And so the emotional, the emotional realm, and then the mental, which is very, very connected to the emotional and the mental realm, asking to release the thoughts, the beliefs, conscious or unconscious, that 
work against us and we don't even know it. And maybe we do. The beliefs, the judgments, the thoughts of scarcity or not enoughness or inadequacy that seem to be very relevant to the Taurus sign and to a lot of the other signs too. Hmm. And let's see. So as you do that and let yourself really expand, I'm going to do one more beat, which is the um, beat of where the moon and the sun, 28 degrees of Taurus, are going to be in tomorrow. So this is what we're opening up into. And according to the I Ching and to um, the Gene Keys, there's a particular beat. For each, um, for each of the astrological signs and also each of, depending on where they are in the degrees. So, um, so let's, give me one second. So I'm gonna do this beat that is um, according to the I Ching. So let yourself really expand expand and see what wisdom comes in see what wisdom comes in for this new cycle as you let go of anything that's left frequencies that are coming in now with this Taurus moon and where we're sinking in tonight. Mm. I just feel like for the group I want you to before we end I want you to bring your hands to your heart and um, Letting some sound come through your heart. Maybe it could be one note. Um, yeah, maybe one note. If you want more than one, that's fine too. Just letting yourself voice. It's like Taurus is also connected to the voice, by the way. 
and the thyroid and reclaiming our voice. Um, so letting yourself just sound, just sound. It's like, what's the song in your heart that wants to come through? Just syllables, it doesn't, no words because we don't want to condense it to words. And so I'll just do a little and then I'll let you, I'll be quiet so that you can not be affected by by my sound. Uh... Also receiving the love, receiving the love in your heart. And then just bowing in gratitude. Yeah. And letting that tone you know, come with you so that you can tone into tonight and tone into tomorrow, into the new moon, and then allow some of the epiphanies as you listen deeply, some of the, of the wisdom that arises, and also just feeling the love, feeling the love through your toning, through your voice, through the sound. Yeah, so we give thanks. Dear Mother, Father, Source, Oneness, we give thanks for all that you're allowing us to receive, for all that we've been given, for the miracle that we are, for the light that we carry, and for the joy. Thank you. So I want to thank each and every one of you. I also want to show you, because whether you have a drum or not, and, and I want you to get a drum, <laughs> because it reminds you, it is, it's very, very um, powerful. It recalibrates you. Um, it activates four sides of your brain, all four, the frontal, the occipital, and and the sides are right and left. Many, many things. But it also is in your humanity what you first heard in your mother's womb is the sound of the drum, is the sound of the heart, heartbeat. So I want to just show you really um, quickly, if you can, at least you'll have it in the recording, the drum beat for um, this moment and time and it's going to last probably for um, another another few days this frequency so it's one two three four five so five which really ten because you're doing it with each finger and then one and you can do that on anything if you don't have a drum you can do it on a table so it's one two three Just one, and you hold it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six beats all together. These are half beats. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 slow as you want to 
and I highly recommend it between now and the new moon. Yeah, and it reduces stress and it improves your immune system and on and on and we can keep going. So, I'm going to end the recording. Thank you very much for joining us and happy new moon in Taurus.